What's going on people? So we're here with another show. It's not really a show, it's a vlog. It's called Hidden Gems, where we go through the stock room and we pull out stuff that you guys have kind of forgotten about. I know everyone's all about the new drops, the Hypebeast stuff, and what's coming on sneakers and stuff like that, but don't forget about the old stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through the stock room. You might see a few of the staff, we might talk to a few of them, and then we'll see what trainers we pull out. So I've gone to the girls, it's show them. Like, hi, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Hey. <laughs> It's like cribs. Welcome to my crib, guys. Welcome to my crib. Yeah, you should have opened the door. It would have been mad. Hello? This is the superior man. In stock. How's it going, guys? You, you might have seen it. Why are you acting bad? You're acting mad cool. Look at him. Obviously, you guys know man like Josh, aka James. It's Josh. It's just Josh. It's just Josh. Pretending to work. All the time, all the time. So. Mo, you've been in the stock room. Name me one trainer. One trainer I which you I know you yeah, this this guy lives here. <laughs> so name me one trainer that you feel is underrated and not a lot of people buy or see that we have at Kick Game. Uh all right. Come on, like this is where we follow the real people behind the scenes thing. Not a lot of people ask for this. No, I've got two for you. Hold up. <laughs> Do you know what? He's bringing it. Look how you're looking. Look. How, one, one second. He said he lives here. He said he lives here. And he can't find nine. No, this is the first one. The first one. I don't feel like a lot of people got this. Or they. Tell us a bit about it, Mo. Go on. Yeah. yeah. I don't see many people wearing this. I'm pretty like, like a lot of Jordans before the hype sitting on the shelf. Yeah. Do you reckon now, people will jump on it if, if they see it more? Uh, Do you know what I think? I reckon it'll take someone like Travis Scott or someone like that to wear them. I mean, there's so many Jordans these days, so it's kind of hard. One minute, well, look, we're going to show the camera again. Okay, Rookie of the years. Okay, so you're bringing out another Jordan. To be fair though, they are, they are rated. They're rated? Among who though? They're among most. I don't see many people wearing them. Oh, the tur you love these turbo greens, don't you? Maybe because I have some myself. Yeah. You They're cold. You can do the honours. I've never seen anyone do the purple laces either. Do how. you think it will go though? Ah, right, see, look, for me. Purple laces? Uh, purple? No, 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 no. What? They come with it? Yeah, they come with purple laces, apparently. If you guys watched just in, this guy said that these turbos, turbo greens, look like the green glows. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. That's the title. <laughs> I'm <laughs> All right, cool. Um, do you know what? I'm going to lead you to a few of the ones that I really do like. So, as you can see, the stock room's a bit mad. It's like heaven. It's like heaven. Do you know what? Show them, E-man. Go show them. Show them. Show them what they see. Look at look how many. Look at that. You know I came straight here because I love Nike SBs. Well gone, Ella. Say well gone. Say hello to the camera. Look. Why are you creeping? Look at <laughs> why are you moving all shy now? Anyway, she's moving all shy. I think we talked about these on the Just In show. These are the Dunk SB Low Wasted Use. They're so slept on. This is why I'm saying they're a hidden gem because they came out a few weeks ago. Not many people are buying them because I think it's a black shoe. Do you know what I mean? So not many people really mess with black shoes in regards to black denim or this kind of, you don't really see details like this, bro. You, like people don't really mess with black shoes with detailing like this. They kind of want a simple look, kind of like the ones that we're going to show next. Air Force One. What, black Air Force One? Yeah, yeah. Shock. Shock, he's talking about a- Shoe of the century, shoe of the generation. Black Air Force One is a shoe of the generation. Shoe of our generation. If, <laughs> if I beef him right now. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. Do you know what? We're just going to stay with Dunks today because these are all hidden gems. These are the Medicon. Dunk Lowe's. Obviously, Medicon's a Japanese company. They use the figurines. They do, they do the bare bricks and stuff like that. I was calling you. Do you know what I was calling you? Yeah. I was calling you because I'm about to get one under it because I've already seen the name of it. And I, do you know what I need? The heat gun. Civilist Dunk. Don't throw it sideways. <laughs> is there a plug there? Man's, what, are you, are you, what, are you static shock? So you can electric, <laughs> we need a plug, bro. He lives, he lives That's here. That's my room. That's my room. <laughs> Wait, there's a plug where, bro? Yo, this is, 
media team. Obviously, this is Tim. Right. Every picture you see, most, most, most majority of pictures you see is from this guy. Okay, look, look at this. Focus on the shoot. Don't focus on me. Don't focus on me. You love it. Don't lie. You love the camera. Look at that. Bro, do you know what I mean? People don't know. You think it's a black dunk, then bow. So what, Put some I heat on it. When I walk out in the sun. When you walk out, in, it, it, I don't think it's sun. You actually need heat. People are putting it in the microwave, you know. <laughs> I swear down to you. If someone told you, oh, put, the, put your trainers in the microwave, you think they're crazy. <laughs> you think they're crazy, but then your trainer does this. Who's the crazy one now? But to be honest, it doesn't last too long. Obviously, you can see the effect. Hidden gem. How do you turn this off? Okay, I did it. But yeah, there's loads of shoes, which I think, to be honest, I'm wearing some right now and I've just seen the box. Obviously, these aren't the best. These are Sean Wetherspoon superstars. I don't know why people are messing with these a lot more. Especially, like, they look better on for me. Josh, Yo. Sean Wetherspoon superstars, better on. Much better on. Much better on. It's, it's, Daniel's got them on now. Boy, shoot. Bad boy, shoot. You see the packaging. Obviously, it's an all vegan shoe. I think we talked about it in, it, was it in the first Justin or the second? Might have been second one. I think it was the second Justin we talked about it. Um, but yeah, people don't really rate the shoe. I don't understand why. And too, it's not too costly. I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, it's hidden gems. The price should be quite low because they're hidden. But sometimes you've got to pay big bucks for shoes, isn't it? That's the market nowadays. However, these aren't too costly. So I would suggest in summer, go for those ones. And there's one more which I wanted to show as well. This is the one that Josh was talking about, but these aren't really hidden gems. Do you know where the magnets are? The 700s, V2, on this one. We've got some magnets upstairs and you've seen them on display, but not many people are buying them, are they? No, not really. I don't understand why. The 450s. Literally, I saw someone walking in Selfridges wearing them. I see a guy in the other day as well, you know? The 450s are one of, bro, they're one of the best releases from Yeezys recently, 100%. I saw one guy wearing them. I saw one guy wearing them in Selfridges, I was like, bro. Yeah, I saw one guy wearing them, it was a name. No way. That's a bold statement. That's It's not too bold, though. You say it's a bold statement, but you can't. That's a bold statement. It's not an everyday shoe. Would you wear that to your local Asda? I would wear it to Asda. You're a madman. I wear Lidl. If you saw his face, if you saw my face, I'd say, you're a madman. But I'm more likely to wear 97s to my local supermarket than these. These are like, you're not going to wear that to your local supermarket on a casual. You're not going to put those on to run out to the shop. If they're comfortable, I'll wear them. Fact. That's how you know a man's got too much bread, that long bread, you know? Shout out to you. Baller. <laughs> I'm not even sure, you might have to beep that out. But no, I think these are cold, bro. That's another, a man said, I know you do, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. So at Kick Game, this is the heat wall. What is top five on here? Do you know what? The one that I really like is upstairs. So we're gonna go upstairs and we might finish on that. Do you know which one I'm gonna say, Josh? Do you know which one I'm gonna say? The Mars Yard. Oh. The Mars. Tom Sachs. Tom Sachs. Listen. Look, people don't really, if you're new to, well, older people, mm. the people. Shout out Rico, man. I know your, your, your mental on shoe game's crazy. Oh. I know you rate it. Mm, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. But. People don't really know the mar like the new guys. Yeah. Like people who have just joined the sneaker game who over lockdown or the yeah. year before. Very, it's quite it's a little bit older. It's a little bit older. Probably back than that. Yeah. And there's there was a new one coming this year, 2.5. Yeah. And there was a 2.0. I saw some lady bopping. Um she was bopping, where was she bopping? Tottenham Court Road in rain in Mars Yards. No respect. No respect for the game. I don't back that. Oh shit. In my, yo, Michael, what one? Because right yes, now, James, yeah. I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I said yes. yes. <laughs> the last shoe I wanted to say, obviously, show the smile, man. It's a what one? <laughs> wow. The last shoe that we were talking about is the Tom Sachs Mars Yard. It's a gem, everyone knows it's a gem because of the cost of it. However, I need you guys, if you're watching this, do your research on this shoe. And want this shoe because the colorway, the silhouette, everything about it. Oh, 
All right, yo, Issa, one pair of trainers in this stock room, which you rate, which not many people know we have. Here's your test. My test. Oh, and you can't go that side. You can't go the Jordan side or the Hypebeast side. Right, cool. Ooh, but it's not under, it's not hidden. Everyone knows it, they restocked it. All right. They restocked it. If you were, if you were to go for like some Amy Leon doors. Mm. Them. Yeah. Or the 327s. Listen, whoever, if you don't rate your balance, See? New Balance are sick and they're coming back. But that's been Hidden Gems first week. We've obviously got more Hidden Gems. We need to go to the bigger warehouse, but we're just showing you a couple of the things that we think are fire here. Obviously, we've missed a few, but we don't want to give it all away because otherwise we'll have no more episodes. But yeah, Hidden Gems, I've been Daniel. Over and out.